the public relations industry, the advertising industry, which is dedicated to creating consumers. It's a phenomenon that developed in the freest countries, in Britain and the United States. And the reason is pretty clear. It became clear by, say, a century ago that it was not going to be so easy to control the population by force. Too much freedom had been won. Uh, labor organizing, parliamentary labor parties in many countries, uh, women starting to get the franchise and so on. So you had to have other means of controlling people. And it was understood and expressed that you have to control them by control of uh, uh, beliefs and attitudes. Well, one of the best ways to control people in terms of attitudes is what the great political economist Thorstein Veblein called fabricating consumers. If you can fabricate wants, make obtaining things that are just about within your reach, the essence of life, they're going to be trapped into becoming consumers. You read the business press, say, 1920s, it talks about the need to uh, direct people to the superficial things of life, like fashionable consumption, and that'll keep them out of our hair. You find this doctrine all through progressive uh, intellectual thought, like uh, Walter Lippmann, the major progressive intellectual of the 20th century. He wrote famous progressive essays on democracy, in which his view was exactly that. The public must be put in their place uh, so that the responsible men can make decisions without interference from the bewildered herd. There to be spectators, not participants, then you get a properly functioning democracy. Uh, straight back to Madison and on to Powell's memorandum and so on. And the uh, advertising industry just exploded uh, with, with this as its goal, fabricating consumers. And it's done with great sophistication. You don't see many wild stallions anymore. He's one of the last of a wild and very singular breed. Come to Marlboro country. The ideal is what you actually see today. Where, let's say, teenage girls, if they have a free Saturday afternoon, will go walking in the shopping mall, not to the library or somewhere else. The idea is to try to control everyone to turn the whole society into the perfect system. The perfect system would be a society based on a dyad, a pair. The pair is you and your television set, or maybe now you and the internet, in which that presents you with uh, what the proper life would be, what kind of gadgets you should have and you spend your time and effort uh, gaining those things which you don't need and you don't want, and maybe you'll throw them away. But that's the measure of a, a decent life. <laughs>